In this video, we will look at how to correctly apply a delta to wire transformation to find the equivalent resistance of a bridge circuit. This arrangement of resistance here is a bridge circuit. The resistors are neither in series nor in parallel. Looking at this bridge circuit, we can see that there are two deltas in this bridge circuit. There is an upper delta of resistors and there is a lower delta of resistors. Suppose we use the upper delta of resistors and apply the delta to Y transformation. Let's see how this can be done. So we are interested in replacing the upper delta of resistors with a Y. So we can draw the Y resistors as follows. And suppose we give them labels R1, R2, and R3. Now, in order to find the value of these three Y resistors, the rule to remember is each resistor in the Y network is the product of the resistors in the two adjacent delta branches divided by the sum of the three delta resistors. So let's see how we can apply this principle. The resistor R1 is given by the product of the two adjacent delta resistors. So in this case, it is 100 and 125 divided by the sum of the three delta resistors. So this is 100 plus 125 plus 25 and this is equal to 12500 0, 0, and the sum is equal to 250 and this comes out 50 ohm. Similarly R2 is given by product of the two adjacent de delta resistors. So in this case is 125 and 25 divided by the sum of the delta resistors which is 250. So this comes out 12.5 ohm and finally R3 is given by the product of the two adjacent delta resistors. So this is 100 times 25 divided by the sum which is 250 and this comes out 10 ohm. Replacing the upper delta with a Y arrangement helps to make some resistors in series and parallel and this helps with the simplification. Using the delta to Y transformation applied to the upper delta, the circuit can be redrawn as shown here. In this circuit, the upper delta has been replaced by the Y resistors. Now we can see that in this circuit the 10 ohm and the 50 ohm, 10 ohm and the 40 ohm resistor are in series and this can be replaced by a single 50 ohm resistor. Similarly the 12.5 and the 37.5 ohm resistors are in series and they can be replaced by another 50 ohm resistor. These two equivalent resistors are in parallel. They are connected between the same nodes, so have the same voltage across them. And these two parallel resistors can be replaced by a single equivalent resistor having value 50 parallel 50, which is 50 times 50 over 50 plus 50 and this gives the value of 25 ohm. Finally, we have the 5 ohm, the 50 ohm and the 25 ohm resistors in series. So the final equivalent resistance becomes 5 plus 50 plus 25 and this is equal to 80 ohms. Thus, from the point of view of terminals shown here, the equivalent resistance, this bridge circuit and this additional 5 ohm resistor are equivalent to a single 80 ohm resistor.
Instead of the upper delta, we can also apply a delta to Y transformation to the lower delta of resistors. This is shown here. Again, applying the principle that each resistor in the Y network is the product of the resistors in the two adjacent delta branches divided by the sum of the three delta resistors. So Rx is given by 25 times 40 divided by the sum of these three delta resistors. Similarly, Ry and Rx and Rz, all of these can be found. Using this delta to Y transformation, the given circuit can be redrawn as shown here. Here again, we can see that these two resistors are in series. These two resistors are in series. This resistor is in parallel. This equivalent resistor is in parallel with this equivalent resistor. And finally, we will end up with three resistors in series. Thus, with some practice in writing and combining series and parallel resistors, the equivalent resistance can be directly written as follows. So this is 5 plus sum 100 plus 400 over 41 parallel with 125 plus 375 over 41. And finally, we add this th last resistor. And again, the equivalent resistance comes out as 80 ohm. So this example illustrates the correct way of using a delta to Y transformation.